And the answer is that the sister chromatids should be together, but they're not. So the two dad sister chromatids should be together with one kinetochore, and the two mum sister chromatids should be together with one kinetochore. And that's true for all of the drawings in this picture. So what we've done, we've talked about how meiosis adopts the same strategy and tools that were used by mitosis. The homologs weren't together, but it brings them together and locks them together in the same way that the sister chromatids are locked together in mitosis. And then the spindle fibers attach to the pair of homologs using the same kind of tug of war, pulling the homologs to the center of the cell, and then pulling the homologs apart so that each daughter cell gets one version of each homologous chromosome. And meiosis II steps separate the sister chromatids in exactly the same way that mitosis separates the sister chromatids. Coming up next, we're going to think about well, how does this play out in males and in females because it's different. Hope to see you there.